Hello to you all, Merry Christmas. I have got a fantastic recipe for you today. It's a Yule log with a twist and you're gonna love it. I love it. Uh, it's really easy to make, so let's get straight in. I've got some caster sugar here into my mixer. I just need to add eight eggs into here. Do you like my Christmas jumper? What do you think it looks like? The Alps? Yeah, it's the Alps. I've never been to the Alps, have you? Number eight. So now all we need to do is whip it up until it goes really, really volumised. You'll see it will really, really rise in um, volume. It's a really magical transformation. Look at the size of that! So that's really, really massive. Now I'm going to add a splash of vanilla extract. There we go. So that did take a good five minutes. So if you're doing it by hand, I wish you luck. It's probably going to take you half an hour, but you want it to be very foamy, holding its shape. It looks kind of almost moussey. I've got some uh, self-raising flour here and just going to add a little bit of salt to that. Oh, and I always forget something. I want to sieve the flour into here. I don't often sieve flour, but we really want to keep all the air into this. So adding more air through it as we sieve it in. So just sieve the whole lot on top. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to bake. I'm not very good at rhyming. I'd never be a rapper, would I? And then just fold it through. So just use a metal spoon's best for when you're folding. So what you're looking for, all the kind of really big clonks of flour to be whisked appeared. Keep as much air in there as possible. Makes a really lovely sort of fizzing noise. Can you hear that then? So that's ready, it needs to go straight into the tins. I've got two tins lined here and I've also greased them on the inside. We don't want to um, mess about with this batter because it will knock the air out. So the best thing to do, actually weigh half and half in. So it's about 350 grams in each tin. Level them down gently. Just sort of push it into the corners. So there's my lovely sponges. In they go, just 10 minutes they take to bake. We're going to get everything ready for when they come out because that's the special top tip I'm going to show you. The idea with the Yule Log is that you twist it up. You need to do that when the sponge is warm, otherwise if you left it when it was cold it would just crack. You want to get a piece of parchment paper, double the length of your tins, make more than double because I'm going to show you what I'm doing. It's very, very exciting. And just generously sprinkle some caster sugar over that paper. I'm just doing that in the middle, which is where the sponge is going to sit on the paper. You're basically training the sponge to go into a spiral. Dashing through the snow. Got your I can't murder buble, can I? That would just be, that's just not acceptable. Right, so that's ready. Get the sponge out. Lovely. Make sure that it's cooked through, so that should come out clean. Keep your oven gloves on. And literally, wash that onto there. So carefully peel off your paper. Now you want to measure halfway through the sponge because we're going to cut this in half. So I've got my ruler here and just cut through. Gently turn your sponge this way, I think close together. And we're going to do exactly the same in the second sponge. Score it a bit there. Do you know what I could do? <laughs> Tightly wrap it now. in a lovely tight spiral or oh, it's all warm you can it's a lovely cuddle you want to leave it like this completely until it's cool I'm gonna get rid of all this and grab the one that I baked earlier so now it's time to make our cream filling I've got some double cream icing sugar a nice sluggy gluggy of kirsch which is a cherry liqueur a little bit of vanilla in that as well actually <laughs> need a longer time to whisk it up until it's soft peak consistency take it to the mat you don't want to over whip cream because it seizes up quite quickly so you want to take it just to that sort of soft pea consistency then we'll just do a few more seconds that's it i'm going to use some festive jam this one's a merry berry cherry jam so now we need to unravel the sponge if you want to you can actually also dust caster sugar on the top sponge before you wrap it up don't worry if you get the old crack once you wrap it up you will never know i'm just going to spread it with a nice layer of, of the merry berry jam just spoon in the creamage. Use the paper to roll it back up like that. So you want to keep it nice and nice and tight. Wrap it back up, keeping it nice and tight. 
pop it back in the fridge so it's set nice and firmly and then it's the fun bit we're going to get the blowtorch out so let's clear away and come back and get it decorated so now i'm going to make a swiss meringue which i'm going to pipe all over my yule log heat your egg white and your sugar up to about 70 degrees and then you make it into a meringue you can do that on a bambery but i've got a rather snazzy machine here one of my favorite kenwoods which is just going to do it in an automatic setting for me so i'm doing that because i'm can't be bothered to do whisking today so in goes my caster sugar and my egg whites this is really good as well because it weighs so it's a bit of a kitchen gadget geek here so shut that down do my preset menu don't need into swiss meringue that's all ready to go we'll do a christmas dance already look at this gorgeous stiff peak Swiss meringue. I've got a piping bag with a large star nozzle. That's a 1M, um, which is going to give me a nice woody effect. So let's just load this big boy up. This is the exciting bit. So here's my chilled sponge. So what you need to do is unwrap it for its final outing and just trim it so it sort of stands nice and flat. Let me pop him onto whichever stand you like. Start at the top, so I just do a nice kind of roundy 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 top of a log effect really it's a good idea just to kind of do a sort of a few swirls like this to start with which will be like the knots you get in a in, in a wood and then you just need to kind of pipe up and down around the knots and it can be a bit wiggly this is probably one of the funnest Christmas cakes I've ever made. I'll just check if there's any gaps. I'm gonna fire up my beast. Just start by torching the top bit. This just really brings out all the detail. It just catches the edges of the piping. So quick to do. Oh, oh what do you think? I'm gonna put a nice topper on here. Merry Christmas. Let's cut it open and see how it looks inside. Here we are. Pop that on there. Bosh. Oh, wow. This is the most delicious Christmas cake ever. It just tastes of Christmas. I hope you make one too. Everything you need to make it is just down there. Please like and subscribe. And if you do make one, Make sure you tag me in the pictures. I'm just going to finish this cake. See you later. Oh, and it's cherry.